Hello everyone! Today, in celebration of Star Wars Day, we're going to take the cutest little critter in the Star Wars universe and we're going to bake him. Yes, roast pork with carrots and potatoes. First thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Then I'll take about a half a cup of butter, melt it for about 20 seconds in the microwave. Because this is a, I'm using a sweet yellow onion. I'm only, I'm only using like a half of a large one and it's just slicing it like this. I use the little baby carrots, usually six to eight per person. Make sure you wash your potatoes real good so they don't taste like dirt. My potatoes, I'm using the golden, leaving the skin on. So as I proceed to cut it in half, cut it in half and then in half again. With these right here, I'm doing about four per person. Okay, here's the butter. Now this is about a half a cup. Hands of blue, two by two. I will stir this up a bit so that it is distribute my oils. I don't think Chewbacca had any vegetables, but I think he would have enjoyed his pork more if he did. <laughs> so this is Laurie's seasoning salt. I should just and then stir that up on there too, I think. These are already making me very, very hungry. Now I think I'm gonna just put just a little pepper, put as much as you wish, but it always adds a little zest to put a little pepper. Next we shall put these succulent carrots, potatoes, and onions in the oven. Bake for about 20 minutes. Now, as that bakes, we're going to prepare the porks. Here's my pork, and here's a 3D pork. Mine's a little larger, but we can't eat that one. I'm gonna rinse them out inside and out. Because if you don't have real pork, you can use corn and tin. Next thing I'm going to do is put some olive oil on the birds. This is so that he doesn't dry out too much the legs and the wings. Rub a little bit on the inside there. Now I'm going to use lemon pepper, but if you prefer you can just use salt and pepper or even your own mixture of herbs or whatever flavorings you might enjoy on chicken. Sprinkle the lemon pepper generously on the breast, the legs, and the wings. I'm going to put some on the inside just because I like it, I'm putting a little extra lemon pepper on the top of the breast. Then I'm going to tie the legs together. I'm going to wrap this around and make sure it goes completely around. Go to the other side, wrap this around, make sure it goes completely around. And as you can see, I got this. Then I'm going to take this right here, tie a little knot, pull them together. See? Pulls them together. Make a double knot so that it does not come untied. Now it's the time to put the pores on top of the vegetable mixture. Yep, slowly but surely. And I shall take my little pores and I'm going to make sure I can lay them on top of the vegetables, make sure they're spaced. couple inches between each one. Okay. So as you can see, they're ready to be baked. 30 minutes, and then after 30, I will pour a little olive oil on top. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna give it a little more olive oil to baste. A little. It's 
I'm on my legs. Legs that are just dripping. Now let's just wait and see what they do in 20 minutes. Now let's see how they came out. It's been totally 50 minutes. This is good. I'm going to be pretty tired. They've came out just beautifully. Might be brown. Three little porgs. There. And there you have it. Look. Roast pork with carrots and potatoes. Oh, and doesn't it just look simply delicious? Thank you for watching. And please click the like button and subscribe to be notified when new videos are released.